But you see the photo there. This is many of which where uh, where she basically is trying to compete with the younger women. I, I want people to understand something, man. You have to understand who you are at some point in your life. You can't get on social media and try to compete and look like these women. You're not going to fare well. Your genetics is not of a Caucasian female. So why are you trying to look like them? And number two, we got to look at is that you have a woman who's out here wearing see-through tops, trying to show off her top as much as possible. But this is a, a quote unquote happily married woman, right? Now, this is a woman who's looking to have situations outside of her marriage because that's where she is. You know, she's in a situation where uh, she really wants out of that marriage. But because, again, her husband has had health issues, she don't want to look like the bad guy or the bad person and leave him when he needs her the most. But this is one of the reasons why there are men that will say no to marriage. It's not that they're saying no to marriage just because they hate women or things of that nature. It's because you have a lot of women that even when you invest time in them and money into them, they're looking for a way out. There's no through sickness and through health, because when you're sick and you have health issues, they're looking for a way out. They're looking for a way out. But she don't want to be perceived as being wrong. So she's saying Yes, we have an open relationship. Oh, really? So if you have an open relationship, let's say Greg gets another woman. Are you going to accept that? I highly doubt that. Shout out to Take Man Clan. Uh, nasty Grant is running wild like Hulkamania. <laughs> yeah, because you got so many places you could see them, right? You got so they have so you got so many places where uh they can be seen. They can get likes and comments. You know, dudes hitting them up in the DMs. But yes, they are grandmothers. But that doesn't mean that they don't want to still have relations. They still want to do that. <laughs> they, they say, you know, <laughs> they still want to be able to have their fun. And by having their fun, that means getting it in with other men, which is exactly what she's probably already been doing. She just wants to make it more public if she gets caught out there holding hands with another guy, going to a certain place with another guy. She's hugged up with him. She wants plausible deniability in the situation to say, hey, Greg knows. <laughs> Y'all be mad at Greg <laughs> when Greg is trying to get himself together. And that's a sad situation, man, like. You are older man and you married this woman and you you thinking she's the one for you. You stay with her through, through issues. You basically helped her when she needed when she uh, when she needed somebody the most. You helped her. But now she's slowly pulling away and thinking of herself in that situation. And that's what I think going on with a lot of. Um, women Nini's age. Nini's 50 years old. She's 50, okay? I believe she even has a grandchild, you know? And I think that most people who are that age pretty much know who they are, right? They know who they are, and they're not trying to be like you would think Younger women. But they are trying to be like. Younger women. They're trying to compete. With the younger women. Because they see the attention that they get. And. They want to compete with them. But I, I just think that. um We as, as individuals. We have to really um, work on not living our life through social media. What's going on, Bella Michelle? I see you, Chrissy. Christy. Uh, shout out to Brian Washington. Do like Dikembe did and make her sign that prenup. 
Well, I don't know if Greg signed the prenup or not. I would think that a guy as intelligent as he is would have had her sign one, but I, you never know. Yes, Christy, she was doing that. That was her life before she got with Greg. Greg picked her up when she needed Greg the most. And this is what he gets. You know, her basically saying, you know what? I wouldn't accept you having another woman, but she's going to go and have her a man outside of that situation. It's good, David. Make sure y'all like the stream too. like the stream. You know, <laughs> Naima crazy, man. <laughs> like the stream, people. I um, I think that uh, when you have fifty plus year old women, and you add in Facebook and Instagram, even YouTube and and Twitter. And there's a tension to be had. There's there's groups of men. You know, you're going to have women, despite the fact they've been married for 20 years, they're still going to see if they still got it. You know, women still want to know if they still got it, which is OK. But when you're going out and you're getting surgeries, when you're going out and you're wearing what you're wearing as far as this, these, these wigs and these weaves and you're lightening your skin you're getting your nose done over and over and over. Like, what exactly type, what type of people are you trying to attract? Are you trying to attract men who just going to smash? You know, because that's that's pretty much all you're going to attract. I got sent, and shout out to Antoine. Antoine sent me the link to this article recent, as of what, a couple days ago. This Instagram model by the name of Miss Miami, right? She may have to get her whole her uh, assets uh, basically cut off, uh, am amputated because of the, the the injections have just ruined her, you know, and all of that was for what? And you have to say the same thing about Nini. You know, what is it all worth? What? What did you really get from it? You can tell that she's in complete control of her marriage. Greg is pretty much, she just, he just happy that she's there. And that's sad, man. It really is because she's now out doing what she want to do. And she ain't got to worry about him going nowhere. She's out trying to look for the next guy. A 50 year old woman who still thinks she got it. And listen, if you are a dude, <laughs> if you out here trying to smash Nene, you really ain't shit. <laughs> you really ain't. You really ain't shit, man. I, I would like to know who's trying to smash Nene, man. Obviously, man, she, she ain't competing just to get no likes, man. It's all about lifestyle, man. Making herself happy. And one of you dudes is out here trying to make Nene happy. You know, when you do trying to make Nene happy, man. <laughs> and that's the thing, man. It's it's too many like these older women who should be settling into their age and saying, okay, it, listen, it does, listen, I'm all for a woman, no matter what her age is, trying to look good. But when you out getting surgeries and you're wearing see through shirts with, we you know, with um, trying to show as much as possible. But once again, what type of men are you trying to attract? Because you're not going to attract no guy that's going to marry you again. You're going to attract men who are going to see you and they're going to say, OK, let me smash. Let me get that one. Let me get that notch under my belt. And that's all it's going to be. You're going to be a notch. That's all you're going to be. They're going to smash and dash. That's basically what's going to happen. You're trying to look like Becky or Cindy. <laughs> Or Jessica <laughs> or Wendy. <laughs> you trying to look like them because you think that's going to get you a attention of certain type of guy. You know, you're getting your surgery cut open and redone over and over and over because you want to look like Becky. That's what you want to look like. 
And that's what you see going on in societies, women trying to emulate that look, even that 50 plus year old, you know, even at 50 plus year old. And this is where the problem lies. OK, this is the problem. And I want y'all to understand something. I'm not saying this because I don't think these women should want to be attractive or should not want to look good. But there's a way of going about things. There are women who can who look good, even being clothed from head to toe. Maybe it's their how their body is shaped. They can get attention easily. They don't have to go to great lengths in order to get attention. But when you are somebody that's insecure. And when you are somebody who's probably been told most of your life that you're not that attractive. That's why you can come. That's why Nini has come to, come off as, as confrontational. That's why she always is loud and rude and because she's never been the attractive chick. Now, these females, these the, the ones who've always been considered unattractive. Now they can seek to be attractive. They can go and get the nose done. They can go get their uh, work done on their cheekbones, on their skin tone, wear blonde hair because they were never considered. They were never considered attractive. They were never considered pretty. So now they have, you know, their means in order to seek out uh, attention on social media. Do you know how many unattractive women are thick, you know, with big, you know, with a big asset and big, you know, big fake real tits, you know, but they are very unattractive in the face. All they have to do is turn to the side. That's all they do. They turn to the side. They turn and show you the whole backside because they know you don't care about that face. And, and they know this, you know, they take a selfie and they're getting, you know, 70% less likes because they ain't used to seeing they seeing their face. Dude's looking around like, is that, is that your sister? Is that your cousin? Like, are you doing a shout out post? You know, because they're not used to seeing your face. And that's why the low self-esteem have women on social media literally with nothing on in their post. This is why Instagram is cracking down on, you know, on these likes because they're seeing that these women are going as far as they can just to get likes, just to compete with other women. And they're and they're doing it and they're getting their pages shut down because they're doing more and more extreme stuff. OK. And people don't understand this. We don't never see your face. We just know what your measurements are, but we don't know. We ain't never seen you smile. We ain't never seen your face. Then you post a selfie and then now we know why, you know, um, and that's the cycle of a lot of these chicks, man. That's the cycle. Without social media, yes, they'll get a little bit of attention in their city with dudes that like the way they body look. But for the most part, dudes ain't really walking around hand in hand, not was hand, in, well, holding hands with them, claiming them like that because the low self-esteem is so low. These women are out here sleeping with these guys and not really getting anything returned as far as a relationship. They're not getting claimed, you know. That's why they're so stuck and fixated on social media. These are facts, people. I'm not here to lie to you or to. Uh, make up things. Y'all know what I'm saying is true. You know? So, 